Hi guys, in this video we are going to discuss how to handle the no input for the text based chatbot uh, using JavaScript event. Uh, this is specifically for Dialogflow Messenger okay, uh, that we are using so far in this uh, tutorial. Okay. So what I'm uh, asking or trying to explain over here is uh, the timeout is let's say uh, Dialogflow has written some message and uh, and the user have not entered any input for let's say 10 second or one minute or whatever the time that you uh, decide right so over here what we are going to leverage is javascript events right uh, so in the javascript event side we have something called df response received so this is the response received uh, uh, from the bot side to the messenger and then we have something called df user input and user input entered right so this is uh, the input entered by the user over here okay so let's see the code uh, this code is already available in my where uh, in the github okay so okay so what we have done is something like uh, we have created a timeout id okay uh, a variable over here and user input received so what we are using is uh, we are listening to the event called dialog flow response received this is the response received from the bot to the user okay and then we are uh, checking for the set timeout right so we are just once the input is received we are starting the timeout okay so timeout we have kept for uh, 10000 which is nothing but uh, 10000 millisecond converted into 10 seconds right and uh, if user type something in between right then we are just making the flag equal to true nothing else okay so what we are doing here, over here so let's say uh, the uh, bot message have came right and uh, we have started the timeout right and uh, over here check user input so if user input is still false because over here it is false right and now the clock has started right and uh, what we are doing is we are checking uh, for the clock and it goes into recursive loop right and keep checking this timeout delay right so uh, what i was trying to explain is okay yeah so this set set timeout is a function internal function from the javascript where it runs this function for this uh, specific of time and till it is running right so for the 10 second this will go uh, and keep running out of it and let's say if it, the uh, user does not enter anything then we will go for the timeout event okay and this is also uh, one of the function or the message that we have over here see if i scroll up a little bit uh, df messenger send request uh, 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 uh. so if you see over here we have somewhere send request javascript function sorry yeah over here uh, query selector and render custom send query so you can either send the query like the user input kind of a thing from the back end and also you can send the send request uh, like the one that i have done over here so over here it's supposed to uh, one is query uh, like a text or event which will be a custom event that will go to dialog flow okay so so far uh, this is what we have done now this timeout event has to be handled in the uh, dialog flow cx side okay so let's see if we don't add anything over there uh, in the cx side what happened so uh, let's say the message came and i don't type anything for the next 10 second okay so now if you see over here something uh, went wrong please try again so this is the message which appears right now what we have to do is add a timeout event right uh, so let's do that so right now where we are let's see uh, so we trigger the welcome event right and it goes to the next page as main menu okay so we will go in main menu and this is where we are so what i will do is i will add 
what just happened add a event handler click apply why is going down and click over here and this is a custom event what is the name of the custom event we have given we have given the name as timeout you can give any name there is nothing uh, specific over here uh, and let's give a message something like under main menu uh, please sorry something like are you there please type your query okay click add and do nothing like right? don't have to specify any page click save on this and let's see how it goes over there so again i will refresh the page and uh, we trigger the welcome event we get this message welcome message now we have to wait for the 10 seconds uh, to see if we get that message see now under main menu are you there so we have triggered that no input event over here so yeah that is the uh, that is how you can do uh, timeout handle for the text based dialog flow messenger chatbot uh, over here in the dialog flow cx the code is available in the github and the link is present in the description section so if you want to refer over there you can refer thank you have a nice day